hey guys what's up welcome welcome back to our channel no guys i'm in my car and if you guys have been watching my videos you know that when i'm in my car i will be talking i had this idea to do this um motivational monday video and it is really just to motivate and empower people just to live life in um to the to its fullest and to just really find ways and strategies to just navigate life through all its challenges difficulties hardships trials the whole works all right so i want us to really talk in this on these videos um you might not see my face done or whatever because i will be speaking whenever it is that i feel led to speak so that's 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 the concept of these car chats motivation on monday video and it might not even be on a monday all right but it's catchy and so that's what we're going with. all right so i hope you guys have been doing okay and despite everything that has been happening in your personal life and around the world you guys are finding ways to navigate through life as best as you can so uh for this motivation on monday i really want to speak about i hope you guys are not here in my car i have to keep on the ac because i don't know what jamaica hat but for this session i want to speak about a sermon um that really spoke to me by pastor sarah jakes roberts it's called girl get up all right so it really spoke to me because sometimes you're going through challenges and you're like oh i can't do this i i don't know how to do this but honestly if you just get up and start doing it you will be so surprised at how much you can achieve at how strong you are of how bold you are of how much more of whatever it is that you need to navigate through life you have inside of you there's a scripture that says great is he that is in me then that is that is of the world and so sometimes really and truly we can't do it on our own but through our faith prayer fasting seeking the lord's guidance you can do it and i say that because this year for me has been challenging i shared with you guys some of the stuff that i've been through this year and you guys don't even know the half of it but as we progress in this series you get to learn more about me if it is a case where my experience that can be used to you know really help you guys then i'm willing to share and so I, I I just feel led to do this because I life is more than makeup. You guys know that this is a makeup channel, but life is much more than makeup, right? So we're talking about a lot of things, every single aspect of life that concerns us will be touching on that. So finances, relationships, spiritual life, um, what else do we have to deal with? Career all of those things that affects us we'll be talking about them so let's get into my perspective i'm gonna let you guys hear a clip of girl get up sermon and then we'll come back and talk god i feel your presence in this room that if you would allow for that little girl to arise if you would allow her to awaken from her slumber if you would allow her to be cured and healed from the disease of abandonment issue, the disease of failure, the disease of divorce, the disease of insecurity, the disease of promiscuity, if you would let her receive a touch for Jesus from Jesus, that she would come back to life and that this miracle would not be for the world to see, but it would be for the people who are closely connected to her to see. What am I saying? I'm saying that there are people who need to see you awaken that little girl that's down on the end inside of you and you may be wondering to yourself why is it that they need to see it it's because that they need to see that he's still doing miracles they need to see that he still has power they need to see your spirit come back to you when he tells the little girl to arise she doesn't just get up the text tells us that her spirit returned to her oh i feel the presence of god on that her spirit returned to her she got her fight back. 
She got her power back. She got her authority back. She got her vulnerability back. She got her humility back. She got her creativity back. That's a good word for somebody because your daughter needs to see how to get back in the fight after life has knocked you down. Your mother needs to see that addiction can't knock you down. Can I talk to some real people at Free Chapel or are we just going to play cute? Somebody needs to know that being a woman may not be easy. That we may have to pick up and move on scarred and broken and bruised, but bruised tears still crush serpent's head and that when your spirit returns back to you that it is a sign to hell that no weapon formed against you is going to prosper that when your spirit returns back to you that you wouldn't have to worry about that child because that child would be looking at how God did it for you I hear generations are connected to your spirit coming back is there anybody in this room who says God I just need you to top me off I need to get more of my spirit back little girl get up girl get your fight back girl get your power back girl start acting like you are a king's daughter and that there has always been a crown attached to your head even when I was sick I was still his even when I was dead I was still his do you know who I am I am a child of the most high God and he has kept me alive so that I can be a testimony to everyone attached to me. That girl, you can get up again. Girl, addiction can't have you. Girl, divorce gotta let you go. Girl, get up. Girl, get up. Girl, get up. Girl, get up again. Girl, depression gotta let you go. Girl, anxiety has to lose its hold. Girl, get up. I'm begging for you to get up. I'm pleading for you to get up. My daughter needs to see you get up. My sister needs to see you get up. My generation needs to see a woman. Get up again. So that was just a clip from the video it's a 45 minute sermon i'll leave a link of it below so that you can watch the entire thing but basically uh she took the sermon from a scripture where um someone's daughter died and they called jesus to basically resurrect her um but girl get up is very serious because oh, sometimes guys we have some situation where we're like oh no there's no way we can do this there's no way you feel so down you feel depressed some people feel suicidal based on whatever it is that they're going through i'm talking about teenagers i'm talking about young adults i'm talking about full grown women i think most of us when we were younger we had this um, idea of what life what we want our lives to be and as we go through life we realize that oh my god it, it's not a fairy tale I mean I remember when I usually watch Disney movies and all of that and the happy endings and the princess and all of that and the, and the prince and we realize that things don't always go that way um, and that's in essence because we are living in um, a, bit, a, a spiritual world where you have good you have evil you have the adversary who tries its very best to you know put you down and to knock you down and to kill you to steal and to destroy your life but guess what Jesus says that he has come that we might have life and have it more abundantly and so whenever these things come because trust me they will come the challenges will come your man will left you you will lose your job you will just even sometimes nothing is wrong that like you can't even pinpoint on that one thing that is wrong but you just feel so sad you feel depressed you feel down you feel anxious like you you you, you are living in fear of the future like there's so many different things but i implore you to get up uh i remember when everything started to crumble in my life this year and I'm like oh my god what is happening I felt like I was losing everything 
and trust me it was a very difficult time i cried for days like nobody knew but you just cry you just cry and the one thing that helped me was my faith and i'm like how do people who are not um christians get through or they don't believe in a higher power get through life like you must smoke you must drink you must you're most mad <laughs> like I, I i cannot understand because there's no way i i think i would have survived if i didn't have jesus and so i just want to encourage you guys that no matter what you're going through just get up just start and you know what really helped me exercise who would have thought man when my life was going good i was so lazy i was just eating didn't really want to work out you know you know just going out doing that and doing this but when things start crumbling down things start to you know become a mess when you feel like you're buried you just just know that you are a seed and so the things that the enemy used to try to bury you yeah because you are seed once you have god then you will rise you will bloom you will see the light again and so i just want to let you guys know that everything is going to be okay trust god believe in yourself forgive yourself for all the mistakes that you have made forgive people and just focus on you right focus on you take the time to focus on you sometimes we're so busy doing everything else and we're not focusing on us first of all you have to love yourself you have to know who you are and you can do all things just get up and do it don't stay down it's okay to feel sad and it's okay to cry but just don't stay where you are girl get up have a good day whenever whatever time you guys are watching this what, what whichever day you guys are watching this i wish for you a good prosperous and a blessed day you can do it girl just get up bye guys